The administration and Congress are saying there will be $321 billion in savings from the health care bills that are out there. But isn't that because people and benefits will, are being taken away? So isn't this really just a takeaway? N not, not at all, okay? And one of the flaws of the scoring uh, on the CBO, on this, when you look at the number of people, is that, again, there's a lot of people, when given the option, will decide not to elect to take this health care because it's a bad deal. That doesn't mean people are losing health care. I think everybody knows Obamacare was just a giant tax hike on the economy. It slowed down the economy. It's another reason why we've continued to have sub-2% growth for the last eight years. And this administration is 100% focused on creating economic growth, creating jobs, creating proper wages, and getting this economy back to 3% or higher. Yes, right here in the front. First of all, congratulations. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, I've got a couple of dorky finance questions. Um, could you talk about, uh, just if push came to shove, would you, would you advise for prioritizing debt payments or not? And uh, do you believe that CFIUS review of Chinese investments uh, into the U.S. should be more careful or, or more involved? Well, again, let me just make a comment on CFIUS. I do chair CFIUS. I take it very seriously. And I can tell you the reviews are very careful and very involved no matter who's on the other side. It's very important for national security, and we will use that uh, to the maximum powers. And in regards to prioritization, um, I, again, I think that uh, Congress should act quickly, raise the debt ceiling, and we should pay our debts on time. Can I get any help? Thank you, Mr. Secretary. And I was going to say congratulations to Thank you. Um, two questions. First, uh, you were a participant, along with Madame Lagarde, at the last IMF World Bank meeting, and you certainly know there was some concern about what the future U.S. policy is toward involvement with the International Monetary Fund. Uh, what is the U.S. policy toward that and toward involvement in financial relief in the Eurozone? So uh, let me just say I've had the pleasure of meeting with Christine, you know, at least a dozen times. Uh, I think the IMF plays a very important role in looking at currency and world economies. Uh, the IMF was very helpful in regards to stabilizing the Greece situation and looking and working with Europe. I think that could have been a major problem this summer that would have had significant concerns to the markets and the economy, and I think she was uh, a very important part of those negotiations. Well, my second question was, uh, how do you feel about maintaining the U.S. level of support at the IMF at the current level, and specifically as a part of the relief for Greece, because the U.S. role is through the IMF in relief of the Greek financial crisis. Yeah, well, let me just comment. Uh, the, the IMF commitment to, to Greece was quite small. Um, I'm not even sure that Greece are necessarily going to use that, so I think the significance was really more of a stamp of approval. And uh, again, there's no direct cost to the U.S. or the taxpayers, and uh, we're supportive of the IMF, although we'll look at our contributions to the IMF like we look at all contributions very carefully and making sure we're spending the taxpayers' money properly. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.